Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And remember it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So as we're approaching the All-Star break in Major League Baseball, we have a lot of great games in store for you for Independence Day, July the 4th. And before we get into them, I want to invite you to join to have access to the VIP Club section and that will give you all the tools that you need to help make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games. We're going to scroll down here through here. We're not going to look at all these games because it's a full slate of schedule for Sunday, July 4th. But we're going to take a look at some of these. Brewers and Pirates. We're not going to take a look at that one. The Padres and the Phillies. San Diego is third in the National League West, but enters play very well at Burning Hot on the Team Strength Oscillator. You can see they have won five out of their last six. The Phillies are fourth in the National League East. They are average down. They have struggled particularly in the bullpen. They have blown lots of games and they are in three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Padres are at plus 24 and the Phillies are at plus 16. If you consider the over and under in this game, you take a look here that the Padres are playing in games trending well over the line. They have for, you know, the better part of what the last few weeks while the Phillies have been playing in games trending under the line now they are trending over the line as well so that's a very good indication to play the over let's see what the scores prediction shows here the scores predictor up here has the Phillies with an 8 to 7 win with 69.6 percent confidence again if the score is 15 that will be over so I would bet the over and I would take the Phillies to edge one out at home so take the Phillies and the over. Tampa Bay and Toronto. The Cubs and the Reds. In the National League Central battle, the second place Cubs face the fourth place Reds. You can see that neither team is playing well at the moment. The Cubs are dead stats. They have lost their last six games. The Reds are ice cold down and they have lost four out of their last six games. Kyle Hendricks is scheduled to pitch for the Cubs. He is 10-4 with a 3.98 ERA, and Wade Miley is scheduled to pitch for the Reds. He is 6-4 with a 3.09 ERA. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on a downward trend. The Reds were at plus 20 just a few days ago, and they have plummeted to plus 9, while the Cubs are down to zero status. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, the Cubs are trending in games under the line. While the Reds are also trending under the line. So that's a good indication to bet the under. But take a look at the scores predictor and see if that jives with that. And it does. The Reds, well, it does. If you consider the fact that the line would be set at 12, 13, we don't know yet what it's set at. You see the, the odds are currently unavailable. But right now it's 9 to 3 in favor of the Reds. It's the scores prediction with a 69% confidence. Again, Take a look back closer to the game to determine whether you want to bet the over-under. I expect the Reds will win, though. I expect they will win rather easily. I'm not sure it's going to be by six runs, though, but I think they will win rather easily. The White Sox and the Tigers. Astros and Indians. See the full side of the games. Marlins and Braves in the National League East. AL Central Battle. Twins and Royals. Next one we want to take a closer look at is down further on the list. Here we go, the Orioles and the Angels. The Orioles are improving with the burning hot stats. You see they have won their last three and four out of their last six. They're still in last place in the American League East. And they take on the Angels, who are fourth in the American League West. They are average stats at the moment. They have won three out of their last four and are three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the power rank indicator, you can see how Baltimore has climb from plus one back on June the 28th and all the way up to plus 19. Reverse trend for the Angels. They were at plus 24 just a few days ago and they are down to plus seven. So you can see which team is definitely the hotter team at the moment. If you're considering the over and under in this game, the Orioles have been trending in games well over the line for quite some time here and the Angels are trending over the line as well. It's a very good indication to bet the over. But let's take a look at what the scores predictor shows. And the scores predictor shows Baltimore with a 7-4 advantage. So again, we don't know exactly where the line is yet. Take a closer look at that before you decide as far as who you think will win the game and as far as whether you want to bet the over and under. 
this confidence and prediction is at nearly 54%. Right now, I'm feeling good about the Orioles. This would be an upset on the road. Even though the Orioles are the hot team at the moment, the Angels are at home. They will be the fair, but I am going to go with the upset and pick the Orioles to win and keep their hot streak going. The Red Sox and the A's. This is a very good matchup as well. AL East versus AL West battle features the first place Red Sox and the second place A's. Red Sox are burning hot at the moment. You can see they have won their last six games. The A's are average stats at the moment, and they have won three out of their last six. Nick Pavetta is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox. He is 6-3 with a 4.43 ERA. And James Caprillion is scheduled to pitch for Oakland. He is 4-2 with a 3.06 ERA. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see here that Pavetta has been a solid bet at plus $270, and Caprillion is plus 36 in a very small sample size, but both have been profitable, solid bets. If you're considering the over and under in this matchup, you can see here Boston playing in games trending slightly over the line, and Oakland trending under the line. Not very good uh, bet here to play the over and under. But take a look at the scores prediction down here. This also indicates it here. With the 6-3 predicted score in favor of Boston, that could be very close to the, the line. We don't know what that is. If with 56% confidence, again, that makes it so probably not a very wise play to, to bet the line on this one. As far as the overall winner, I believe that Boston will come away with a road win. They're definitely the hotter team. They're definitely the better team overall. Let's go with the Red Sox. Oh, the Rangers and the Mariners, another good game, but here's the matchup that we really want to look at, the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. What better matchup than this between two cross-city rivals, the Mets and the Yankees, even though they don't play each other all that often. It's New York versus New York. The Mets are ice cold down at the moment. They have lost four out of their last six. The Yankees are dead stats at the moment. They are one in five over their last six games. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see here that the Mets are plus 18, the Yankees are plus 15. Considering the over and under, like we always like to do, you can see here the Mets are playing in games trending under the line all the way back to June the 18th. And the Yankees have been trending over the line as far back as June the 9th. So again, there's, there's conflicting reports there, up and down, over and under, you know, teams on opposite sides of the line. So... Let's take a look at the scores prediction. You see here the Yankees are predicted to win by a 7 to 6 margin, but the confidence in the prediction is only 39%. So again, it's less than the, the toss of a coin, so take that with a grain of salt. Again, so you want to look back in a day or two, check with the odds, check the line, check the scores prediction before you make your final decision. But as of now, I think the, the Mets have been the much better team. Um... But I feel with the Yankees playing at home, I just have a feeling that they're going to rebound in this one, and they're going to come away with the win, but this will be a close game. With the Giants and the Dimebacks is the last game, but we're not really going to take a look at that matchup. So there you have it. Those are the games for July the 4th, Independence Day in the United States. Happy Independence Day for those in the United States, and happy betting. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.